If you're anything like me, you want to have the best experience when it comes to gaming and best experience when it comes to Diablo 4. So without any further ado, I purchased the game, I tried clicking install and I couldn't do that. So what happens is um, I can't do that, but I'm not the only one. And uh, since you're watching this video, probably you found this video uh, through search as well. So uh, in order for you so you could download the game, you need to wait for Blizzard to allow it to do that. So first things first, you need to wait for March 15th. So early access and download begins on Wednesday, March 15th, 9 a.m. PDT. And for open beta, it's March 22nd. Second question you may be asking, when the beta gonna start? So beta gonna start uh, according to Blizzard, uh, early access, the first one for people who has pre-purchased it on March 17th, uh, going through the from 17th till 19th, and open beta for, for people who have not purchased the game, but want to try out, uh, they can try that. Uh, I believe it's, um, it's, it's gonna be a week later. So for people who have uh, already purchased the game, they're gonna have two weekends that they can spend and play the game. For people who have not purchased the game, they will have only one weekend to play the game and try it out. I think it's fine. Uh, secondly, if you're thinking, can you access the game without actually purchasing uh, purchasing Diablo 4? And uh, the answer is yes, you can. In order for you so you can have uh, early access code for you can log into the game, you need to have the actual code. Yes. So I, you need to access the Blizzard website. And if you have questions, how can you get those codes? So I certainly know that uh, there are a couple of ways that you can get those codes. One of which is, of course, Blizzard can send you this code if you have pre-registered uh, to get this code earlier. Uh, I believe there's going to be a Twitch promotions coming up uh, coming up uh, later on throughout the weekend. Uh, even though the game is going to be closed access, I believe there's going to be Twitch uh, Twitch promotion thing. It always happened. This is a speculation, but I like 95% believe that it's going to happen. And next thing is. Um, the most certain thing, if you have KFC, KFC near you, uh, you can go through KFC promotion and KFC uh, is, is um, gifting out Diablo for early access uh, codes for you to play. And yeah, you can see here on the Niche Gamer website, it's, it's announced that Blizzard Entertainment has announced a promo for Diablo 4 beta codes with no, one, no other than Kentucky Fried Chicken. And these are not the one uh, niche gamer website. I saw this on the Twitter. I have posted about this in my uh, YouTube channel. And yeah, so these are the, the one of the global news that's happening. So if you want to play early, head out to KFC and, and, and buy yourself some chicken. And of course, if you wish to celebrate Diablo 4 by tattooing your body, you can do that simply by uh, tattooing yourself on set locations uh, that is promoted by Blizzard. So basically, um, simply put, uh, place a tattoo on your body and Blizzard gonna give you early access code. There's a set locations uh, shown here. And if you go to those locations uh, in London, Los Angeles, Chicago, New York, uh, Melbourne, Sydney, Miami, and uh, yeah, you can go to those locations, get a tattoo on yourself and you're gonna get uh, early access code. Not sure about uh, legitimacy of those things. Uh, regards to the, it, it's funny how you're gonna get early access code and not the actual game, but all right. And yeah, so these are the, the information how you can get in beta. Cool. Next up, what can you expect in beta? I am showing you my community post that I post, post that I posted last week about the. Diablo 4 updates, what you can expect in open beta. Open, in open beta, you can expect uh, to see one zone, one zone in particular. So there's gonna be an unlocked stronghold, most likely. Basically, it's gonna be two zones, one fighting zone, one open zone. It's gonna be one zone Fra called Fractured Peaks. Secondly, we are gonna have access to three playable classes on the first weekend. So it's gonna be Rogue, Barbarian, Sorcerer. If you haven't seen those, uh, I will be linking, linking videos about those classes gameplay uh, down in the description below, or you can see the icon here above floating somewhere. And secondly, uh, on second week, 
we're gonna have access to more of a versatile, more, I'd say more beautiful classes, more newly uh, developed classes, which is Necromancer and Druid, of course. Uh, Druid has a huge potential being, I believe, the, one of the most beautiful classes in, in the game so far. Their transitions, the transformations, if you have looked at the gameplay, it's mind-blowingly cool. And um, Necromancer itself looks like absolute beast when it comes to uh, dealing damage and controlling minions. So it's like absolute summoner class. Yeah, so level cap is going to be 25. Uh, if you're looking to play this game a little bit differently, uh, I'm not too sure how flexible that thing will be as there's not going to be any sort of end game. And uh, if you want to explore end game, I believe the only way is for us to play for uh, for us to wait for final release as up until that day uh, We will not even have the complete client in our in our hard drives as the download client it will take um, 45 gigs and if I remember correctly the complete game will take around 90 gigs to download So this beta ver version is gonna take only a half of that. So we will be limited What can we expect of course is uh, cinematics about the game some sort of transitions um inventory system some a little bit of game mechanics uh showcased to us so we could explore and really start digging deep into the game and uh, addition to that uh, of course not only act one which is obvious but uh, for people who has pre-ordered the game and um, tried the beta there's gonna be a wolf pack available for you. So this is a cute puppy, absolute cosmetic. It's a 100% necessary thing if you want to showcase your cosmetics in the game. So that could be possible. Yes, uh, so that is that. That's what you can expect in beta. If you are thinking, can you run Diablo 4? Uh, I have this information here. Um, if you want, you can uh, just simply take a look and take a screenshot and test it out. So these are the recommended and minimum specifications. If you're not too technical person, I know that sometimes it could be really tricky. Uh, I do recommend you checking out the site called uh, Can I Run It? And in this site, you, just, you basically just uh, type in the name of the game. Diablo 4 and go through the process and it will tell you basically either you can run the game or you cannot. Yeah. It basically asks you to download the software, start your computer if it's legitimate, if it's okay and if it can run things. But it will take a look and tell you what kind of specs you can use and if you can run the game or not. Okay, cool, so um, that's the side. Can you run it? Easy peasy. I love this site. I, when I used to had a when I had a laptop, I used to be on this site all the time. Since you're watching, um, I heard that uh, in order for you to so level up to level 25, it would take around 2.5 hours. So in this logic, on this end, I should be able to level up three classes if I get efficient enough throughout the weekend, so I could share my gameplay and my experiences within all of the three classes that I see in, uh, in Diablo 4. Will you be able to play Diablo 4 as a group? The answer to this is most likely yes. How true I am to this fact? It's, uh, it's the fact that Diablo 1 had a solo experience driven game with a co-op Diablo 2 had an experience that and an availability for you so you could solo do all of the content if you work hard enough and uh, if you go as a group there's only like uh, efficiency for you to play but the main focus is not of the game and the third part is that um, Diablo 3 if you see if you're doing content as a group you're gonna do content faster however the game is focused around your individual loot your individual playstyle, and everything around individual so i will not be surprised that diablo 4, 4 will focus solely on solo content with ability for you to share your experiences with other 
as in this case like world bosses or world events but it's i'm 100 sure it's going to be solo like game as in most cases all of the mmorpgs and arpgs are solely focused on individual experience we have numerous exa examples and i don't even need to mention those so if you're worrying about the group play don't worry about it you're 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 safe if you have no friends to play with i don't have no friends to play with um yeah that's that thank you guys for watching